This is a 2013 Fiat 500 Pop in ice blue. It's the kind of color that makes you go, huh, I hope they didn't pay extra for that. It's tiny and really lightweight, but it fits behind our motorhome and toes down the road really great. It has two doors and a hatchback and barely fits the groceries you need to shove into it. It has dents and dings all down the side, and it's really dirty because we haven't washed it in a long time. It's got a five-speed manual transmission and a tiny four-cylinder engine, but because it's so light, it drives like a sports car. I'm gonna stall it. No, you're not. In all seriousness, this little car has been great. It gets us where we need to go. It's smaller than our RV, so we can actually park it. It's actually really easy to park because it's so small. And it uh, it does have enough room for four people. If you fold them up and stick them in the back. Yeah, sometimes you have to do that. <laughs> it does hold all of our groceries, even when we go Costco shopping. And uh, it's actually really fun to drive. Sue had to teach me how to drive it because I've never owned a manual transmission before. In spite of what you see in this video, I do know how to drive this car. Yes. <laughs> He's just terrified of driving with me. I'm dyslexic and my directions are... <laughs> and sometimes she can't find fifth gear and slams it. Hey, hey, we both do that. <laughs> Funny thing, we bought a manual transmission car the last time I owned a manual transmission was in college. The last time Ryan owned one was never. No. I've driven one maybe once or twice before. That's it. And the last time I drove one was in Cambodia. Sue so driving a stick in Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. So she did have to teach me how to drive this car. And he was a champ. He was so brave. I stalled it quite a few times. Fucking Bronco-esque. I still stall it. Every now and then I forget I'm driving a manual and I'll come up to a stop while I'm thinking about something else and it'll... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but everybody who has ever had a manual transmission has done that before. It's part of the charm, right? Sure. It took me a couple tries to remember how to do this because it's been so long. And Ryan was like, are you going to be okay? And I was like, give me a minute. And then we got on the road and I remembered it and it all started coming back. And I think it was only like 45 minutes into driving that he said he was ready to give it a try. We found a gravel parking lot in the middle of this tiny little town off of the I-5. And uh, it took him about 15 to 20 minutes of some like jackrabbit starts and stops. And then he got on the freeway. It also was kind of a unique experience to teach you something technical. Mm. Like normally I'm talking to you about fitness and mobility or feelings and emotions or like Blech. seasoning on chicken or you know whatever. <laughs> and when it comes to like technical, like scientific things, you're the one who explains them to me. And this time, if this is like a very mechanical, technical thing, and I was teaching it to you. But, if I'm being honest, I told Ryan, I really don't understand the mechanics of why this works. All I can tell you is that you just have to feel when it's ready to change gears. <laughs> I think still, I sometimes get nervous driving this thing when we're on, when there's a lot of traffic, or like this, we're on, a hilly street with stop signs. Really? You do so well. Is that my turn? No, because there's Foster's Freeze. Okay. 
is the difference between you and me. You're looking for street signs and I see landmarks. Foster's freeze, turn up the Foster's freeze. <laughs> turn up the giant chicken. But if the Foster's freeze burns down, then you're lost. Yeah. I have no idea how to get around paradise anymore. I know, it's weird. It's so weird. <sighs> so that's our tiny little car. Yeah. We have a tiny little car that travels with us now. We just fold it up, put it in our pocket, take it with us. That would be amazing. I know. You just blow it up. It would be like its own airbag. Yeah. <laughs> Driving around a bubble. Well, all right. So, that yep. about wraps it up. Yep. All right. We'll see you tomorrow for our last video of the week. Woo! We did it! Almost! Almost. Let's not hatch our chickens before their eggs. Isn't that the same? Something like that. We'll see you guys tomorrow.